Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today we are going to be discussing the fact Jackson Longridge has left Bradford City by mutual consent to rejoin Livingston in the Scottish Premiership. Now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it let's try and go for 40 likes on today's video that would be massively massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well but yesterday it got announced as I uploaded my video about my fold signing that Jackson Longridge has officially left to go and rejoin Livingston on a two and a half year year deal now today obviously we're going to be dis discussing that we've also been heavily linked with Oldham striker Danny Rose I'm going to touch on my thoughts on that towards the latter stages of the video hopefully that does get announced if it is going to happen before uh, Saturday because you know it'd always be nice to have a, 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 a Danny Rose an option but yeah make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's video so on January the 19th at 5 p.m. yesterday just as I uploaded my video Bradford City tweeted saying news Jackson Longridge has today left Bradford City by mutual consent. The article then reads Longridge leaves Utility Energy Stadium. Jackson Longridge has today left Bradford City by mutual consent. Longridge's can contract has been cancelled to allow him to pursue an opportunity elsewhere. The 25 year old left back arrived at the Utility Energy Stadium in June 2019 and made 10 appearances for the Bantams. Out of all those 10 appearances, he played less than half an hour of league football in 18 months. The club would like to take this opportunity to thank Longridge for his efforts in Claret and Amber and wish him best for the future. And then half an hour after that, Livingston tweeted saying, News, Livingston FC is delighted to announce the re-signing of defender Jackson Longridge on a two and a half year deal. Full story available on the website. Welcome back, Jacko. And then their article then does read the return of the Jack. Son. Livingston FC is delighted to announce the re-signing of defender Jackson Longridge on a two and a half year deal. Joining from English League 2 side Bradford City AFC, Longridge spent three seasons with the Lions from 2015 to 2018 before joining Dunfermline following our promotion to the top flight. Obviously I'm reading this as if I was a Livingston fan, I'm just reading it from the article. He will play 41 times and score five goals for the Pars in the 2018-19 season before moving down south to sign for Bradford in the summer of 2019. It seems weird been from Bradford and it referred to as the South but I guess for Scottish people that's what it's called having only featured five times to the Bantams between August and December Jackson spent the second half of last season alone at National League side Torquay United before the season was cut short in March I genuinely forgot about that I forgot that he went out on loan to Torquay anyway in his three seasons with Livingston Jacko racked up 122 appearances scoring eight times whilst playing a key role at left back in those back-to-back promotions from League One to the Championship and then the Championship to the Premiership. Manager David Martindale said, I'm delighted to welcome Jacko back to the club where he played a massive part in our back-to-back -back promotions. I was disappointed to lose Jackson when we got promoted to the Premiership as I felt he could have played a big part at the club in the seasons to follow. Jackson really Epi epitomizes that's definitely how you pronounce it but that's what it says everything about what we look for in a player at Livingston he trains every day like it's his last and he gives you everything on the park and he's a terrific team player the, back the backroom staff all speak very highly of Jacko as a player and as a person I'm looking forward to seeing Jacko develop with us over the coming seasons and I'm delighted to have him on board he's a good lad on and off the park and he's an infectious personality around the club it goes out saying that i think jacko has missed my voice and we'll be looking forward to his first session on a more serious note though welcome back jacko i'm delighted to have you back on board jackson wear the number 23 shirt for the rest of the season welcome back to livingston so that concludes any rumors that you know we're debating between will it be connor wood or jackson longridge to leave in yesterday's video we've signed mighty folds to let Jackson Longridge go. It's really disappointing because every time I saw him play, obviously I go to check a trade trophy games, all that sort of stuff. I try and go to as many as physically possible. If I can get to the game, I will go there. So I did watch him quite a few times in the check a trade trophy and he seemed more than capable. He, capable. he was decent when he played and you know I never really thought he looked out of his depth like what Guthrie, Richards Everton, Motley Henry, them sort of players are. I know Motley Henry's not left yet, but that's probably because he's not answering his phone because Truman and Tellers, they're knocking on his door. He's going to be next out of the club. For me, it is a bit of a shame that he has left, but obviously we've signed Matty Folds to allow him to go. So it's not like we had three left backs. We will already, always will have had two. But for me, Longridge were more than capable of being a very, very good backup. He just never really got his opportunity, which is a bit understandable when we have one of the best left backs in the league. 
um, in our starting team in Connor Wood. You know, a fantastic player, fantastic cross of the ball, great defensively as well. He's very quick. There was a couple rumours that um, he had turned down a contract and he was going to sign for Peterborough, but uh, Peter Brona, Darren McAnthony tweeted out saying that, you know, it was absolute nonsense and they weren't interested in him at all, which is only good for us. Hopefully he does, you know, sign the contract. Hopefully we can offer him, you know, a decent contract and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, Longridge has officially left the club. Let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts. For me, I'm a bit disappointed. We'll have to see what Matty Fold is like. Obviously, he's a bit more versatile than Jackson Longridge. But yeah, I'm just disappointed that he never really got to play, to be honest with you, because I actually thought he was a pretty decent player. I know most Bradford fans didn't really see him play because, you know, I understand that most people don't agree with the EFL trophy and all that sort of stuff. So they wouldn't have really seen him play. I know he played a couple of times like the Carabao Cup and all that sort of stuff. But for when I've saw him, seen him play... I didn't really have a problem with him, you know, I thought he was a very, very capable backup. I'm a bit sad to see him go, you know, he never really got his chance, but it's understandable because we have, obviously, as I've explained, one of the best left backs in the league as the number one. So unless he's going to be injured, which I don't think Connor Wood's ever been injured for us, then he's going to be very, very hard to replace. You know, he's not like he was versatile and he could play on the wing. And obviously, Connor Wood could play on the wing, but are you really going to drop Harry Pritchard? You know, he's been on some decent form at the moment and Pritchard always has a goal in him. Why would you change something that's not broken and all that sort of stuff? You know, there's no point pushing Connor Wood forward forward if he's doing very 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 well defensively but yeah as i said i'm a bit disappointed that he's gone but obviously he was never really never really got a look in so good luck to him in scotland obviously it's a bit interesting that he wasn't good enough for the fourth division in england but he's good enough for the scottish premiership i understand that obviously livingston you know they're not, they're not like a rangers or a celtic they're not one of the bigger clubs in the league but yeah it's a bit disappointing that he's gone but overall i think it's best for everybody involved so good luck to jackson for the rest of his career and uh, now we are going to talk about that in a row so if you're not interested in that sort of stuff you can feel free to click off but make sure to get your thoughts in down in the comments below what are your thoughts on Jackson Longridge leaving so usually I don't really talk about rumours but when Simon Parker's tweeting about it that's when you know stuff is serious when Simon Parker tweets about it it usually means the deal is all but done there's been a lot of rumours about you know the fee maybe a swap deal and all that sort of stuff now, Danny Rowe for me is, I don't know how old he is, but he's around, around the 30 sort of area. He is, apparently he's not a target man, but you know, he's the size of a target man, but he's a bit more agile than Novak. And obviously we've seen what he can do, you know, he scored against us a couple times this season. I remember in the FA Cup when well, we obviously played Oldham, he absolutely turned Ben Richards Everton, left him in the dust and smacked one into the back of the net. He's obviously scored that rocket of a free kick away at Exeter. He's a very, very good player. I believe Oldham paid around £250,000 for him, which is, you know, I'm mad for Oldham considering their um, current state with their owners and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know how much we are going to have to pay for him if we are paying for him. There's been a lot of rumours that we might be doing a swap deal for Donaldson and no money. If we can do that, in terms of a football club, that would be absolutely unreal business and we, we will have definitely pulled Oldham's pants down. But in terms of, obviously, you know... We love the Don here on the SHD YouTube channel. He might not be the greatest footballer, but, you know, we, we absolutely love Clayton Donaldson. He's an icon. He's a bit like the Don Polion for you, those of you who used to watch back in the day. I think, though, if you think about it in terms of, like, the bigger picture and all that sort of stuff, yes, I would take Danny Rowe. This is not me saying I don't want Danny Rowe at Bradford City Football Club. If you think about it in the bigger picture, we play a 4-2-3-1 with one striker. Lee Novak is in the form of his life at the moment. Maybe he didn't score against um, Port Vale when, he, you know, he didn't really get much service. But now we've got players who can provide the service in Jordan Stevens, etc., etc. Novak's going to start bagging him in even more now for fun. You know, he did it with lesser quality players such as Dylan Motley Henry and who's scoring goals. So now that we've got some real quality, Novak is going to be bagging him in for fun. So you can't drop Novak. So what does that mean for Danny Rowe? Is he just going to be sitting on the bench? Do you bring him on for like five minutes at the end? Like, I, I'm not really too sure how this is going to go because they're both starters in yeah, Novak and Danny Rowe. Obviously, I know Donaldson was a starter last year but we changed the system and obviously he played but he's like 36 37 you know he's not gonna be playing week in week out he knows that and all that sort of stuff so it'll be very interesting to see if we do get Danny Rowe how, how are they gonna fit them both into the squad I think it's a good headache to have but it would be a bit of an annoying one if I was the manager I've said I've spoken to a couple of my mates and that sort of stuff and they said Novak could be playing as a 10 but if you play Novak in the 10 which he has played before then that means you're going to be dropping Callum Cook, Billy Clark. And if you drop Callum Cook a bit deep, and that means you're going to be dropping Sutton and Watt. Like, it's just a bit, a bit, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a bit of a headache to have if we do go on and sign Danny Rowe. I will give my full, more in-depth thoughts 
when obviously if it does get officially announced but i just wanted to touch on it a little bit in this video but yeah guys that's where i'm gonna leave today's video if you have enjoyed a like would be massively massively appreciated let's try and go for 40 likes as i said at the start of the video subscribe if you are new as well we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the football season get your thoughts in down in the comments below what are your thoughts on jackson language departing and our link with danny Rowley could potentially be joining the bantams get all your thoughts in down in the comments below make sure to follow me on twitch link is down in the description below so on my twitter and instagram and my second channel for any gaming highlights that's all in the description down below and i will see you all for another video maybe the danny rose signing might be coming out tomorrow peace